Good morning, friends. Happy Friday, or whatever day it is. Um, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's actually supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain tonight. Um, I woke up really early this morning, and there was like this crazy sunrise, which usually, what do they say? Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. So anyway, it's supposed to be shitty by like later today. But I swear to God, like when I come back in my next life, I'm gonna be a weatherman because like do they not know that people are trying to be farmers down here like they have said every day this week that it's going to rain one I could have been like trying to take a day off to stain my deck or work on staining my deck but two like every single day I'm like we could have mowed we could have mowed whatever every single day was dry so it's supposed to rain tonight but the sunrise this morning made me think it might actually rain but we did do some round bailing um and like we have had rain, like I was saying, like we finally got a lot of rain. It's just like all this week it was also supposed to rain and then it didn't. But there were some serious wet spots. We actually got really stuck um, with the mower. But anyway, that was another day. Sorry I didn't show you that. <laughs> um, I am about to go feed the pigs, but just wanted to start the vlog off. Um, not really sure what's going to take us yet, but lots to do. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to get done today. I need to make a delivery just kind of like but if I do make that delivery I might stop at Curtis Lumber and try to order cabinets for the house that I'm hoping to eventually rent out um I might stop and order some more t-shirts because our merch is selling like crazy so that's one section of my day that might happen um we're prepping for breakfast for the weekend if you're local come to breakfast I'll be working tomorrow on Saturday and what else we canned syrup earlier this week, so I have lots of stuff to label, including some wedding favors. So maybe I'll show you guys those. They're super cute if I get around to it because I designed the label myself. And I don't know. I think I'm going to use those exact wedding favors actually for our own wedding. So anyway, the other news is we have lots of calves now. Um, I'm not really sure if we're going to have like two rounds going on because right now I think we have five or six calves. But... We were suspicious that the bull that we got was too small to have everyone have a calf. Like, I'm not sure if that's happening this year. So, um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if he got down to business with everybody. Um, so we're not really sure how many calves to expect, honestly, at this point. But the drama this week that I did not film is that one of the calves was seemingly abandoned. Like, basically... Calves really need colostrum in the first 24 hours, actually in the first like six hours to really maximize the potential of life. So that I don't think happened like this calf wasn't cleaned off. Usually the mom cleans the calves off like right away. And so one, it wasn't cleaned off and two, it was like bladding and following every single cow around for the first whole day, um, trying to nurse and they would all kick it away. So it was like, it became unclear who the mom even was. So I ended up having to bottle feed it. Um, I've kind of stepped back from that in the past day just because I did see it following our crazy cow around, which she had a calf last year that she abandoned. So we should have gotten rid of her. We didn't, but um, it's obviously a potential that she abandoned another calf this year. Um, but she's been acting a little bit more motherly, like having it follow her around they're just so hard to keep an eye on I swear to god we have 20 cows and then the calves and that doesn't sound like a ton but when they're all moving in a field and they all look the same it's honestly very hard to try and follow one especially when we have so much other work going on like I can't stand there and follow the cow around so anyway long-winded story but I do want to update you guys on the calves and show you them I was thinking I have not forgotten about my live stream equipment I kind of want to Maybe just set that up so you guys can, like, see the cows passing through. They kind of make their rounds through all of the pasture every day. They just, that's all they do is eat. They just graze from one spot to another and take naps in the shade. So, that's what I'm thinking. I have so many things in my head right now. Um, sorry to start this video off with a ramble. But, yeah, I gotta go feed the pigs. And, I guess we'll go from there. So, yeah, we started round bailing. But maybe if we knew that it wasn't going to rain, we could have started mowing for square bales. But we have a lot of customers that are, we have a lot of customers that are like out of hay. And we are also out of hay. So we're like pretty anxious to start doing that. But um, you just can't rely on like the weather anymore. 
if you are not like in the hay business, it's just, I mean, everyone knows like make hay, right? make hay while the sun shines, but you say that because it's like you don't want to like ted your hay a million times. Literally like you mow it, you dry it out, you bale it. And if it, keep, like, if it keeps raining after you mow it, then like you can't bale wet hay. So that's the gist of that in case you're like unfamiliar. But anyway, wow, it's like a serious regret of mine that I wore jeans today because it's so humid. Like, you know, the humidity build up before it's gonna rain. That's also what's making me think it's definitely gonna rain today. I feel like I have to fill the hopper like way too often. <laughs> I guess my pigs are just eating a lot, but when I bang on this, like it kind of like knocks down um, the grain that's sitting like in a steep spot. So it'll just like start falling down again. That's why I try banging on it. Cause it does work for a little while, but eventually the banging just stops working and nothing else will come down. So that means I need to go up there and fill the hopper again. Also not my fave job when it's super hot out, but it only takes like five minutes, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do it. Oh yeah, happy summer. So it's officially summer. Um, and I can tell because the freaking pigeons are back. Every time I come up here, I feel like I'm gonna get shit on by a pigeon and that has happened before and I swear I will just kill a pigeon. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I still got that BB gun, so I don't know if I have time for doing that this summer, but, okay. Oh, I should really have my hair up. Good morning. Hello. I gotta say we got a pretty nice group of pigs this year. <laughs> I mean, they're still pigs. I just think they're pretty well behaved. This is my edible flower garden. Not everything in here, but the calendula and the Johnny Jump Ups. These buttons I was just experimenting with for my uh, wedding because I like the color, but yeah. These pansies, they're also called Johnny Jump Ups. They're like, they grow everywhere and they're also perennial, so they like, po they just pop up everywhere. They're almost like dandelions, but way prettier. But yeah, I've always loved them, but I didn't know they were edible until like last year. And I still don't think I've actually eaten one. Should I eat one? Should I try one on camera? Taste test. It's the weirdest taste test. <laughs> They're like too pretty to pick. Here, I'll just like eat this, uh, eat this dying one. Mmm. They're definitely for like <laughs> visual. They're not for taste. They don't actually taste like anything. Like literally grass tastes like something more than that. In case you're looking for something to decorate like a party you're having or something, throwing them on like a salad can be so pretty. Okay, quick garden update. Everything's doing well. I wrote a tell the other day and the rows are obviously evident and I'm pumped for that because I love fresh produce so much. Sorry if it's kind of loud in here, the 
freezer running is always super loud, but um, this is my delivery over here. So if I get to that, it'll be after I mow in the berry field. So I haven't given you guys an update on the berry field in a while, but the blueberries look so good. So um, my aunt's here today helping out. So I think we're all gonna go, um, after we have lunch, we're all gonna go up to the berry field and they're gonna mulch some raspberries that need a little help. And I'm gonna mow around the blueberries and show you guys how good they look. Um, and I know that all the cows are up on the hill because they know it's gonna rain and it's hot out, so maybe I can get a peek at them and some of the calves because I know that that's where they are. So anyway, that's the plan. Um, but yeah, I won't be doing the delivery and all my other stops until after that. So I will check back with you guys up in the field. So the berry field is one of the fields that we did get to round bale. We just mow the other half of it because I only have half of it taken up for the berries right now. So, yeah, so as I suspected, the cows are hiding like under by the rock walls, like under the brush lines because they know it's going to rain and it's like humid. So they're trying to stay away from the flies and stuff. Um, so I can't see them. And honestly, with the whole like calving and abandoned calf and whatever all that stuff I don't want to like harass them any more than I already have so that might have to wait a little bit unless they like just make their way down to get water or something so stay tuned for the cows <laughs> but yeah so I'm excited to show you the blueberries because I don't know at the beginning of the season before I fertilize I was like really worried that they didn't look so hot but like nothing looks so hot after the winter and living outside <laughs> so they're looking way better now, but I definitely need to mow. I know that's so not exciting, just being like, I need to mow again. It's like everybody has to mow, but it's just like one of the jobs that I need to keep up with because this berry field is like going to be such a good crop to have. Like we use so many berries. I say this all the time. So anyway, my mom and my aunt are doing like a little garden tour because they love to check out each other's plants. So they'll be joining me in a little bit, but uh, I guess I'm gonna go get the mower started. Also, sorry if I was talking funny that whole time. I have gum in my mouth because I was like, oh yeah, I want to put gum in my mouth. And then as soon as I did that, I was like, I'm gonna pick up the camera. And I'm trying not to chew gum like in your face. So anyway, <laughs> I had it stuck in my cheek the whole time. I'm sweating my ass off because I'm in jeans, but I just took a break from mowing slash ran out of gas um, just in time for my mom to be coming up the hill because I put the gas in her car because I have this long-term plan that I'm going to like sell my car and get a truck because I can't do anything with a car except get good gas mileage. So anyway, <laughs> I don't put things like gas in my car because I don't want to like spill it and I don't know. I'm trying not to mess up my car. Anyway, so she just got to the top of the hill and she was like, there's a new baby. She saw it up on her way up the hill but very weird because I can see it now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to zoom in enough on camera but I'm not walking in there because it's brand new but weird markings like it doesn't look like a Hereford it's got a brown face and like one white spot on its forehead and then a big white splotch on its back not a stripe it's so odd but I like definitely want to show you guys it's so interesting like we don't have any other cow like this I don't know where like where where that's coming from but it's this mama's baby they're like up a field from the rest of the cows and I can see the baby standing behind it but it's just too hard to see on camera I, I have binoculars with me oh my god I'm dying right now I feel like if I ever got like a sponsorship on this channel I would hope that it's polar because I drink so much seltzer and I would be fully behind that sponsorship Anyway, I've been listening to Megan Maroney's like whole album in my headphones right now. And this just always reminds me to listen to full albums. Like I feel like you always get exposed to people's favorite songs, but I hadn't listened to her whole her whole new album yet. And like a lot of it's like slower music, but there's a couple songs in there where I'm like, this song is so good. Like she really doesn't let anything else speak for her music except like her voice and like strumming. Like she's just good. So anyway, 
and her lyrics are like original but they're not like too complicated or like they're definitely like worth something I don't know what that means anyway definitely listen to Megan's whole album if you have it um I'm gonna go put gas in the mower and keep mowing I'm excited for when the calves start to like learn how to herd because they start to hang out together like they'll get in their own little herd and then it will be like super easy for me to show you guys like what they look like and whatever but I guess we're still in the middle of calving for sure because another new baby so we'll see how many we get but I'll definitely be able to get better footage of them once they're like not so secluded yeah all right I'm done mowing for today it's definitely getting a little bit cloudier like some of these bushes you guys look at this I mean when I planted these guys they were little twigs in the ground you know like this looks like a very healthy blueberry bush weird because some of the smaller ones like down the rows are the ones with the most berries but when these guys really I mean they're definitely taking hold but when they really get bigger like that's just gonna be so many berries I'm so excited Look at them all. So anyway, raspberries, but they're in there. Um, that's why we're mulching them. It's, it's just like they need to be mulched in order for me to see where I'm mowing, but it's going good. And every single one of these blackberries in the tubes is also doing really well. I'm just leaving the tubes on because they seem to be doing fine in them for now. And I don't have any deer fence, so might as well give them extra protection. She's lost her damn man. Hi friends, new day. I'm just on top of the hill right now because I was just like looking at our fields um, trying to get ideas for our engagement shoot that we're going to do soon. I mean everyone just stands in a field when they do those photos I feel like but I just am like seeing which ones we might be hanging soon and things like that but it's a little before seven o'clock right now because I'm working breakfast today. So I need to get down to the farm. I just thought I would drive up the hill real quick um, and see if the cows are up here and sort of, I don't know, see what the fields look like in the morning sun, which ones are looking full. Anyway, hope you're having a great day. Good morning if it's morning when you're watching this. Um, I can't remember exactly what I did the other day where I put the camera down, but let's go get these people some breakfast, shall we? Okay. The end of breakfast day two. I never checked back in with you guys yesterday. Um, we were swamped today. It's 4th of July weekend, so just whatever. I didn't know what to expect because a lot of people barbecue and stuff, but I don't know. I just between the home projects and the, and the maple products and the animals and the crops and the hay and the, I'm just like, Oh my god, I'm like every single day is so full. Like if I make it to the gym, I go to the gym at like 8 o'clock at night. And then I come home and then I make dinner. Like it's literally like long days. I'm so tired. Anyway, end of breakfast day two. Um, sometimes I like to get clips of like breakfast footage, but it was just like swamped. So I just didn't even have a second. So anyway, I'll be back at the farm tomorrow morning. I'm heading home right now because it's like late afternoon and I'm disgusting from working early and whatever. I just picked some asparagus and some arugula which makes me so happy i'm so i just like can't believe it's july no wonder things are growing i just don't know when summer started i feel like i've been waiting for it to start it's been like not the best weather that's the other thing it's just been like raining a lot so i'm not gonna like go outside with my camera every day while it's raining so anyway i'm gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow morning um when i'm back at work because i have a few things to do and the 4th of July is on a Tuesday, so a lot of people have that day off, including Eric, so we might uh, go up to his parents' house near Sakanaga. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. I don't have a lot to update on at home just because it's been raining. I mean, I do have a few things that we got to last week, which made our days very full. Like, um, I've been landscaping a little bit and trying to get the deck stained and um, whatever. There's a lot, but <laughs> not to bore you. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. This is the nicest weather we've had in like weeks, but it's not even supposed to last. Blue, blue sky. Yeah, like blue sky we haven't had. It's supposed to be, oh yeah, they did. Um, it's supposed to start storming again like any, any hour now. But I'm walking out because the cows just came down. 
and I was gonna bring them a rebound block, but they tend to go crazy over those things, so I don't really wanna run right into the middle of all these jumping cows, because that's how much they love them. But, update, we have 11 calves, possibly two more, and we have two very weird ones. <laughs> um, one of them is like mostly brown, and one of them's like, what is that called? That not a Holstein, a, a Guernsey. It looks like a Guernsey. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know. He looks like a misfit, doesn't he? He really. It doesn't look like he knows. I mean, what? You are not a Hereford. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, might be able to make it out there because I usually put it like way up here, and I feel like they're all a little bit distracted just grazing down here. But yeah, how exciting that we have 11 calves, and they all seem to be doing well right now. Um, none of them seem to be like struggling, but we were still suspicious that the one that we thought was abandoned didn't have a mom like it was just stealing meals to get by I'm not sure they're so hard to pair up I'm not sure even which one it is anymore so we actually have two blocks one of them is a salt block which is just like minerals and the other one is the one that keeps the flies away oh my god I'm so windy because I just carried them out here at the same time this one's literally 50 pounds this one's only like 30 pounds but anyway they just have different purposes, but they always fight over one because that's a lot of heads to try and lick one small block. So I'm going to bring them both out there and just put them over here. Wait for me. <laughs> So anyway, that's the cow news. Um, I'm going to churn some ice cream, I think, because I made a huge batch last week and quite a bit of it sold over 4th of July. I mean, it's like full on summer now. It's like super hot out. So it's definitely ice cream time. I mean, all year is ice cream time, but anyway. Um, so I have some left of a batch that I need to churn because it doesn't all fit um, to churn at once. and. Then I have to feed the pigs again and um, do a couple things online, like get some orders in. And then I think I might go home because, I don't know, it's still supposed to rain, but Eric and I were supposed to bring up four tons of pellets to his parents' house around um, near Sockendaga Lake. And since he has the 4th of July off, we were going to like, I don't know, spend the day doing fun stuff, but it might rain. So anyway, um, I might go home though and try to get some stuff organized if in case we are still doing that. Yeah, pretty much everybody is really sick of the rain at this point because like I keep getting memories about doing hay last year and it's like no one can cut hay and I don't know, stuff's going to start to like mold and stuff. I don't know. I thought I might update you guys on some of the home projects that have been keeping me so busy like the living room the landscaping the deck the upstairs bedroom like all this different stuff but I don't think I'm gonna do that in today's video I actually think right after I make ice cream I'll probably I don't know end the day so anyway let's get the ice cream churning because it does take a little bit figured while the ice cream's churning and I have a minute like sometimes like some of the online stuff that I do will be like designing um new merchandise or new labels stuff like that because I do like to do a lot of design work so we had these new sweatshirts and t-shirts come in and I say this is such a tease because I never get this stuff online um we don't have like SKUs or barcodes so when someone buys something online like I have to make sure that 
I update the inventory based on what also sold in the store. And like certain sizes just sell out all the time. So then like if someone in the store is asking if we have a size and I only have it for like an online stock, like, cause I had thought, oh, well, maybe I'll put like certain stock aside for the website and then I won't have to like confuse the two. But then if somebody asks for something and I, I have a hard time telling them no, because like I never know when it might sell out online. And if they're going to buy it right away in the store, like who am I to deny them of some Buck Hill swag? So anyway, but I just wanted to show you guys some of these cause they're so cute and stuff sells really fast without me even like promoting it. Like I wish that I spent more time like advertising some of our merch and some of our products and like I could do more campaigns with these types of hoodies and crew necks and I don't know, but this is so cute. This is the front of this crew neck and then I don't know I thought this was like a summery green color with the maple syrup on the back it's been very popular so give this video give this video a big thumbs up if you think that we should get just get way more stock and put it online because it does take a lot of energy to take photos of all of these things and like get them uploaded but I do love them and would put them online and take more photos of them it's just like you guys know how much time I say I don't have so I just want them to like not sit they sell fast in the store you know what I mean they just don't sell as fast online but I also don't put that many online so anyway just thought I would share these with you guys I also did it in white this is a hoodie and did it in white and I'm not going to try this on because <laughs> I don't know I just don't want to get it dirty but white and tan I just thought that was so good for the summer and like I don't know I want one, but I take way too many of these sweatshirts. Um, Eric's like, you have a hoodie problem. I'm like, I know, but what are you going to do? I could have worse problems, you know? So lots of cute colors. And yeah, like I said, give this video a big thumbs up if you're wishing there was more merch online. We got, this is also this design we keep putting on t-shirts, but changing the colors around. So this was like a peachy summer color with our old sap house design on the back but we get millions of colors we just sometimes I make new designs so anyway super fun I'm gonna go check on the ice cream all right I just got home and I'm gonna start packing some stuff up I think I don't know the thunderstorms look really far and few in between just like severe at one time but if we head up to the lake tonight I just want to have some stuff together and I hope you guys have a great fourth. I don't know, like this is when I really want to get these kind of videos up when I'm like mentioning what day it is and all this stuff. But then like, I don't want to like have computer work to do when I'm like having family time. So this is when I get torn about when to edit or having time to, but because if I sit down and edit, it honestly takes like two or three hours to do that. And I don't really have time to do it right this second, but I would like bring my computer with me. I don't know. Anyway, if I don't talk to you guys before the 4th, have a great 4th. And thank you so much for coming back for this video. This was a little bit of a random one. Not super exciting, but just trying to stay in touch with you guys. So love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you soon for the next one.